So I don't know, has the fire in my belly? I want to prove, like, at this weight, 122, I'm, I can be the man. I feel like I'm different to everyone. And uh, if I can't beat Robles, there's no point me standing here saying, give me a shot at Nui, because I've got no chance, have I? So. Do you think we can lure Nao Inoue to Telford? Ha, <laughs> that'd be the one, wouldn't it? I'd want to go to Japan, I would. Yeah, but I'm sure he wants to come to Telford. Yeah, <laughs> never been knocked yeah. out, and um, I want to see if it's possible. <laughs> Liam Davis, great to see you, my friend. And you. How are you? Yeah, very good. It's always good to see you. It means uh, we're getting close to another yeah. fight, so. It means something's happening. Something's about to go down. Yeah, for sure. And what is going down is you've got an IBO world title shot. Yeah, it's, um, I think it's a great fight. It's obviously not the major ones that I want, but to start, it's a um, tough fight on paper, so they say. Hope, hopefully a few are doubting me and... Uh, what if they're not? What if everyone's like, oh, Liam Davis is going to smash him. He's an overwhelming favourite. Are you going to still be the same if people are just like proper back at you? Yeah. Of course, they'd be right, but I like it when they're against me. I know, me. that's what I'm saying. I like that, but um, now nah, it will be what I'm big. I'm training hard, got good momentum by me. I had a good year last year. I think I showed I'm above British and European level, and uh, this is going to put me into world level, and yeah, I'm more than ready, man, more than ready. I felt like it was a bit of a breakout year for you last year. Do you agree? Yeah, I'd say last year was uh, my best performances like to watch for the fans. Um, yeah, so it was good on there. Last fight was good, most entertaining one. People say it's the best. To me, I made too many mistakes. But, um, what yeah. What was that? Were you, were you trying extra hard to put on a show because it was such a big show? You were outside of Telford for once, you know, was it that? Yeah, just, I, was, I don't know, has the fire in my belly. I want to prove, like, at this weight, 122, I'm, I can be the man, do you know what I mean? So, carried a bit of a chip on my shoulder into last year, I think, and uh, it worked out well. I got two stoppages and I got to keep, kept this chip on my shoulder and that's how I'll be rolling into this one with something to prove. It's important to you, isn't it, this, this chip on the shoulder? Yeah, it is. Always, you have to have a bit of a bad attitude in boxing. And I'm a, I'm a nice guy, to be honest, but when it comes to boxing, yeah, I'm not, not the same person, and uh, I think that's just been installed in me from young. I always remember my granddad used to say to me, when you spar these kids, you go sparring, or you box someone, they ask you to box them again. He used to look me dead in the eye and say, this is the last time I want to ring them to fight you. I want them beat down, do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, installed from young, and 20 odd years later, I'm still rolling like it. Good guy, bad intentions. That's exactly the right uh, anal analogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Analogy, you that's like that. it. Um, but you're also you're, you're like the king at this at this level. You know, we talked about your well, you're beyond this level now, beyond British, beyond European. You're knocking on world within the Queensbury stable. There's your you you're the king at super bantamweight, and you've you know, people are going to be shooting for the king. You've got a bit of a target on your back. People are talking about your name. Even Brad Strand, after he won his last fight, he was like, I want Liam Davis or I want Dennis McCann. Dennis McCann's talked about you before as well. Are you feeling that? How do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel like the only one that probably makes sense is the McCann one because of uh, the build-up. It's been big and um, he's well-known in, in Britain. And Yeah, I think that would be the, big, the only one that would probably make sense to me right now. But... They keep working their way up. I'm, I'm not going to say no to any I'm a fighter, and I believe I smash them both. So say what they want. Hopefully we get it on soon. They keep winning, and they can catch me up, and then uh, I'll be here. I ain't going anywhere. So time will tell. Well, they're fighting each other. Um, how do you see that one going? Yeah, well, I've let them, and I, for my belt. I've made it happen. So, uh, so they still owe me well. a Christmas present each because I wrote on Twitter and let it happen and I didn't receive a Christmas present. But yeah, it made sense for me to step up and um, I don't want to stay at British level. I think I defended my European a few times. I feel like now is the time to step up and like I say, it's good that these lads can fight for a good time. I think, do you know what? I think it's a real 50-50 fight. I think... <laughs> One thing I say, it's going on points. I don't think any of them are big punchers. I see points. Business-wise, it would suit me McCann winning. So, yeah, but 
I think it's a really good 50-50 fight, to be fair. I look forward to it. There's, there's still something, though, with Brad Strand, I'm sure, because of your amateur history, if he was to come through. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Whoever comes through makes sense, doesn't it? Whoever's getting close to me, I've got to knock him down a peg again. So, yeah, Brad Strand, he, beat, he, he said about 100 times he beat me. To be fair, I keep asking him because it's yeah, a good yeah. story, isn't it? If you yeah. go on YouTube, yeah, and watch the last fight we had, it's, it's Matt. I've, I, I couldn't see how I lost, but, yeah, he won fair play, beat me thing. But would he beat me now? Pfft, I can't see how. What about Robles? Toughest test of your career? Yeah, I see Robles um, been sparring a new way, so he's going to be full of confidence to spar the pound for pound. But the way I'm looking at it, he beat Lee McGregor and thingy. I feel like I'm different to everyone. And uh, if I can't beat Robles, there's no point me standing here saying, give me a shot at way because I've got, I've got no chance, have I? So if I beat Robles in good fashion, and people will always say what they want, but then I can say, you know what? Who else is there to challenge me at this weight except the best? And tough fight, but to be the best, you've got to beat the best. And uh, honestly, I'm really game for it, man. If not, see, the featherweight, see Nick Ball's fighting for a world title. I hope he wins it and maybe we could ma have a massive fight there. Do you know what I mean? So I just want big fights and, yeah, I think they can happen this year, 2024. But you've just said something there about the Nick Ball, Liam Davis. Goodness me, that, that's, that's some fight in the future. Oh, yeah, it'd be massive, wouldn't it? So, um, just have to see. If I'm waiting around at Super Bantamweight for a new A and not getting my shot, then the option's up. I feel like I'm big enough, strong enough, and, um, yeah, time will tell. I think this year is a year that will be big for me. Big, big year with some big, big performances. Do you think we can lure Nao Inoue to Telford? Ha, <laughs> that'd be the one, wouldn't it? I'd want to go to Japan, I would. Yeah, but I'm Should... sure he wants to come to Telford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if he insists that he does it in Telford? Yeah, <laughs> we'd have to find a big arena. But, yeah, it'd be massive, wouldn't it? Like, Inoue, you watched his last fight on Boxing Day when I just finished the session, and, yeah, he's the best, no doubt about it, so... They rang me to go there. Honestly, I'd be jumping for joy. I'd be the underdog for sure. But You'd like we were just saying, I love that. Everything to gain, nothing to lose, wouldn't I, in that fight? Mm -hmm. have, have you seen, I mean, to the naked eye, if I'm watching Nao at Inoue Box, I'm just watching him batter everyone. I can't really see any weaknesses or anything like that. Anything that he does wrong, he just batters everyone, right? But, but when you watch it, are you seeing any flaws? Um... Not really, not, he ain't got many, has he? I think the the last one was the best, um, the most where Tapaus was awkward, but off the back foot, making him miss, frustrating him sometimes. You see him bang his gloves and, but yeah, I wouldn't say flaws, but I wouldn't say it was perfect. And like, I think uh, Tapaus took his shots quite well. I would have loved the Tapaus fight, and these guys, these, it's just. I've never, ever been hurt, man. I've never been knocked yeah. out, and um, I want to see if it's possible. <laughs> That's a very sick way to go into that yeah. fight. I wonder if he can knock me out. <laughs> I wouldn't just box him, me. Yeah. I'd give it a good go, because, um, like you say, kill or be killed kind of thing, isn't it? Well, look, that, that IBO title, if you come through this fight, you have that IBO title, it might be something that he wants, because we've just seen Lyndon Arthur take his IBO title into a fight with Dimitri Bivol, Bivol wore it very proudly after the fight and talked about how it's actually something that he wanted to gain from that fight. So, I knew him, he might fancy it. Yeah, it's all lifts and butts, isn't it? It's all about uh, the 16th of March right now. Mm -hmm. Doing a number on Robles and um, showing I am ready for these big fights if they do come. Do you feel like you're, um, you know, Richie Woodall was the last guy to really be putting Telford on the map in a, in a boxing sense. Do you feel like you have taken that now or you're on the cusp of taking it? Uh, I wouldn't say that's really for me to say. I'm just doing my own thing. I don't try and compare to Richie Woodall. I don't really know him as a, a person. I know him to say hello. He doesn't he come to the gym or nothing. I, I'd like to say I'm going to do it bigger and better become a world champion. I'm going to show support to my town, Telford, and uh, 
help these kids a lot more and be involved in boxing a lot more than I've seen rich years. The terror of Telford, Mr. Liam Davis. Give us your final prediction then, what's going to happen in this fight? The Donna Donaton is predicting. I'm going to stop him, man. I'm going to stop him. I reckon after six rounds I get to him and I'm going to say body shot. Okay, heard it here first. Can't wait for it. Can't wait for it. Thank Me you. Me neither. Davis. Me wow. neither. Wow. What a